A huge Ukraine benefit concert is set to be held at Wembley this summer, with proceeds going to the victims of the ongoing Russian invasion. The Live Aid-style gig has been scheduled for June 24 at Wembley Stadium, with big-name artists such as U2, The Rolling Stones, The Killers, and Pink Hall being asked to perform. It is thought that other high-profile musicians, such as Sir Paul McCartney, Adele, Florence and the Machine and Noel Gallagher may also be approached to perform at the concert. The gig will reportedly be broadcast on television globally, with the hope of putting pressure on Vladimir Putin. A source told The Sun, it's going to be huge, properly A-list and on a global scale. It's something people have wanted to do for a while, but a date has now been nailed down and booked at Wembley Stadium. Invitations to perform are going out thick and fast to the biggest names in the business. The source admitted that with a short notice period, as well as it being planned for the same weekend as Glastonbury, some performers may have prior commitments. They also admitted that some big-name artists have already been ruled out. However, the event is still set to draw in an impressive lineup. It isn't the first gig that has been organized to raise money for the victims of the conflict, with an indoor gig taking place in March 2022 featuring performers including Ed Sheeran and Billie Eilish. The gig raised over £13 million. ITV and Livewire Pictures, who were behind the concert, will go on to plan the Wembley equivalent. The source stated that the concert was a great opportunity to keep the severity of the Ukraine conflict in people's minds, and that an event of this size can put real political pressure on the Russians, too. The conflict has been ongoing for the last year, with the Russians invading Ukraine on February 24 last year. It was recently reported that Russian troops have resorted to using shovels as they are so low on ammunition. The UK's Ministry of Defence revealed that reservists were being told to fight hand to hand. An mod spokesman said, recent evidence suggests an increase in close combat in Ukraine. This is probably a result of the Russian command continuing to insist on offensive action largely consisting of dismounted infantry, with less support from artillery fire because Russia is short of munitions, 